Hey, I'm Naomi and welcome to Nerf This, your weekly one-stop roundup of the Korean Tier 2 Overwatch scene. With the first month of the year coming to a close, it seems we are approaching the final stretch of the roster rebuilding, with the team's announcements maybe just about finished trickling in. But with the return of a very fond and familiar face, it does seem that they may have saved the best for last. O2 may have finished putting together their main roster for the year, but like all wise orcs, they have one eye on the now and another on the later. O2 announced on Twitter that they've picked up two new trainee DPS players, Jester and Probe. The team's brand new rookie tank, Max, was initially signed to the org as a trainee, so it may only be a matter of time before Jester or Probe get the call up. O2 has always played an intriguing mix of rookies and vets, so it'll certainly be interesting to see how they fare this year. It certainly didn't take Coach Son long to find a new home after news that he left his former team, Talon, last week. He's become the latest addition to join Team BM's new 2021 roster. A new challenger approaches. It's always fun when a new team takes on the Korean Tier 2 scene, and this year that team will be Team CC. Yeah, that Team CC, Shanghai Dragons contenders team and the reigning gauntlet champions of the Asia region. Head coach No Hill announced on Twitter that they'd be saying peace out to contenders China and heading to compete in the Korean tournament this year. There's also a leech roster floating around, with previous CC players Spectra and Innovation being joined by former OWL players like Wuhyal and Lastro. Of course, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but we'll be sure to keep you updated on any official announcements from our new contenders. And it seems Team Diamond has finally found their gems for the new year, as they took to Twitter to announce their brand new roster. The finished lineup is an interesting mix of well-seasoned Tier 2 names and new pickups from their open tryouts. On tank, they have Inhyuk and Silvercoin, a line that has been around the scene since 2018, with experience under X6, Meta, Athena, and Geekstar, to name a few. Their support line consists of a similarly seasoned Ligo and former Gen G player, Quasid. Conversely, their DPS duo of Becky and Gudio are newcomers. But perhaps the most exciting part of Team Diamond's announcement is their new coaching lineup, with head coach Fickle alongside everyone's favourite gift to the rap world, Winston Legend Miro, as sub coach. Miro had come out of retirement recently and expressed interest in returning to the game in some form, so it's great to see him back in the scene. And that's all this week. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in Korean game news, be sure to check out our main channel, Sugo Gaming. We have weekly videos on the Korean gaming scene there. But if Korean Overwatch is definitely your bag, then be sure to hit subscribe and comment below to let us know if there's anything you'd like us to cover in particular. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!